Hi, this is going to be a review on Free State Vapor, specifically four flavors from their line. I haven't tried any of the other flavors, so I can only attest to these. For the most part, these are all 100% VG, with the exception of one. And they've been steaming for a good amount of time. Because with the 100% VG especially, Sometimes they take a long time to steep, so if you don't like it initially, or if the flavor is very muted, then just give it time, because VG juices can seriously take a month or longer to completely steep, sometimes even longer. Now, to give like a background on like VG juices, I'm kind of leaning more into like the 100% VG juices, or high VG because they don't seem to give a, I don't know, like basically, like if I, like I don't do any higher PG than uh, 50, so I usually get a 50-50, and I don't know if it's just the juices in particular, but sometimes it feels like there's something off in like my 50-50 blends, whereas my 100% VG juice, uh, 100% VG juices, I don't get that off note. It's one of the really big things that I like about this one particular flavor, which I'll do a better review on eventually, but it's from op Open Source Vapor. The Toca Cola, like I can vape that all day with no issues. It never gets old, it never has like an off taste to it, it doesn't give me any inner irritation, and it's a very cool vape. Like, ugh, the higher VG juices tend to be for at least in my experience, a cooler vape, which is what I like, and it feels almost wetter. I don't really know how to describe it, but I really like it. And you know, it's more natural, you know, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Because PG is kind of weird. But anyway, Free State Vapor, I'll start with the one that was 50-50. All the other ones are 100% VG. This one is uh, Lady in Lavender. And I got this because I really like Lavender Ever After, but at the time I wasn't 100% impressed with it. Like I wanted it to be a little bit more flavorful, a little bit more lavendery. But I've since found <laughs> like a fix for that, which I mentioned in my Alice in Vapeland review. I think it's like number four or three and four, something like that. But anyway, it's basically just adding, asking for extra flavoring. But I got this because this one's supposed to be more lavender flavored, and it definitely is, but it's a little bit too lavendery. Like, it's not bad, it's definitely different. It's definitely not a repurchase for me, but if you like lavender, like, it's definitely like 100% like lavender. It's supposed to have like other notes to it, like bergamot, which is like a tea, kind of citrusy and then like a little bit of vanilla. I don't really get too much of that, I really just get like a straight up lavender. So if you've ever smelled like a lavender potpourri, that's kind of like what a vape's like. It's not super perfumey. It was when I first got it, I will say that. And I do recommend that you uncap these for at least like overnight because I believe they use a alcohol base for a lot of their flavorings, because they do offer, I think what they're geared towards is like their 100% VG juices, I could be wrong, but yeah, it seems like they're kind of like leaning towards, you know, a more organic, because I mean, like I said, they're all organic, so I'm pretty sure they use the alcohol base for their flavors, and with that kind of flavoring, a lot of times you have to leave the cap off so that alcohol can evaporate because otherwise it just tastes very perfumey. So that's just like a tip if you're having that issue with any juice, it doesn't have to be through them, because I know Vixen, no not Vixen Vapors, uh, Virgin Vapors, they use a alcohol base for their flavors. And I had the same issue with them, only I really didn't like them at all. But <coughs> I only try their coffees, so I can only attest to that, but I didn't like it. Anyway, along with the Lady in Lavender, they sent me a whole full-size bottle, 15 mil bottle of the Organic Lychee Pear, which I actually like this a lot better 
than the one I actually ordered. It tastes like juicy fruit. Juicy fruit gum. I don't know if it's supposed to. I don't know what lychee tastes like because I don't think I've ever had it. I don't really get much pear, but it's good. Like even just smelling it, it smells like juicy fruit. And I don't know, like, is it good enough to repurchase? No, but it's good. I'll probably end up vaping it. I don't really know. The thing is, is like, I am super picky about flavors, like juices. If I don't like 100% like love it, I'm not going to vape it because I have several juices that I do like a lot. So I don't know, like I'm just getting to that point where I'm not going to settle for <laughs> anything less than almost perfect. So I don't know, but if you are looking for a juicy fruit, organic, 100% VG, because this one is 100% VG juice, I would highly recommend the organic VG pair because it is really good. And if the whole 100% VG thing is important to you, then, you know, they're a good place to get it from. And I like their labels, which I'll mention really quickly. It shows you the the flavor, the base, the nicotine level, and then, like, they use recycled paper, and it has, like, an ingredients list. So, it's pretty much got everything covered except, I don't know if there's a warning on here. Yeah, there is a warning. It says this product contains nicotine, blah, blah, blah. So it does have that, which is good. Uh, do not see a born on date, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. I like to know when my liquid is made. I do believe that they do mix these to, um, to order, so they're not just sitting around. Because that's like an even worse pet peeve of mine. It's like, if you're not going to put a board on date, then at least like mix it fresh so at least I have some idea of when it was made. Because you know when steeping, it really helps to know when it was bottled so you know how long to wait and no one to throw it away or all that good stuff. So that's just like a minor pet peeve. And then the last one that I have an actual bottle for is the Organic Vanilla Mint. And this one's 100% VG as well. And this one was given to me like in a swap. So, I don't know, like it's okay, like out of all the mint juices I've tried, this one's my second favorite. It tastes kind of Listerine-y, <laughs> like, you know, the mouthwash, but not as intense, and then you do get like a hint of a vanilla at the, when you exhale. So I haven't left the cap off of this one yet, which I will probably after this video because I forgot but I don't know I don't know if it'll help or not but it does have a strong alcohol kind of taste to it especially dripping like I've only tried these dripping I haven't put them except the lychee pear the lychee pear I did put in a tank and the flavor was kind of muted at that point but it was still kind of uh, fresh when I did it so I think now it'd be fine and Nacaro, it was completely fine. And these liquids, while I remember, are on the liquidy end. I prefer mine to be a little bit thicker. But, I don't know, that's just my personal thing. And then the last one I don't have a bottle for because it's packed up because I'm not keeping it. But it looks the same as all of these. And it was the Co Cocona Nut something like that. It's basically their coffee and coconut blend and I forgot when I asked for this in the swap that it has Kona which is a type of coffee in it and I hate Kona coffee. Like every kind of coffee vape that I've tried the exception of like one has that base of the Kona type of coffee in it which to me Kona just tastes like skunk and I don't like to be vaping skunk. <laughs> like, it's not pleasant for me at all. So, yeah, it has the definite, distinctive Kona flavor to it. So if you like Kona, like, specifically if you like Virgin Vapors, because I know that they use Kona for a lot of their bases for the coffees, which is why I didn't like any of them. But if you like them, then you probably would like the the Coca-Cola one. I don't know, it's like a really weird... <laughs> name, 
but it's like a, a play on words of like coconut, Kona, and then nut. So, yeah, it's supposed to be like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put their like website below. I think they're a good company if you like the whole alcohol base type thing. I personally don't think I do, but I don't know, compared to Virgin Vapors, at least the flavors I tried, they're like way better than Virgin Vapors, but I didn't like them at all. And I only tried their coffees, so I can't really say about anything else that they have. But yeah, and I mean, they gave me a full-size bottle of e-liquid completely free. I didn't ask for it or anything, which I thought was really nice. I think a lot of companies should do that. Maybe not necessarily the full size, but just like something small. Just, I don't know, like number one, people like getting free stuff. Number two, because they get free stuff, they're more likely to purchase knowing they're probably going to get something free. And number three, it's just a good marketing ploy. Because if I like the flavor, I'm going to repurchase it. And it just makes sense to do it. So, I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, put them below.